LTV, where we hope to provide you with data that you can use to better inform your wagering decisions. Thank you for joining me this evening. I first want to let you know about it, about a promo code of Chan that you can use to get 20% off any BetQL subscription. Uh, with a BetQL subscription, you will gain access to the BetQL model. The BetQL model analyzes every bet pretty much every day to find any mispriced line that you can exploit to win a large sum of money. So you can choose the plan or the subscription that works best for you. You will get 20% off any BetQL subscription using the promo code of Chan. Now we're going to dive into the four playoff game schedule for tomorrow. It's another quadruple header uh, tomorrow for game two of the NBA first round. But let's take a look. At, I wanted to take a look at the playoffs thus far. So far, and th th these numbers don't include uh, the Lakers and Blazers game that's still going on. It's, it's in the third quarter right now. But right now, through the first seven playoff games, over 29 three-point field goals have been made per game thus far. The league average was around 24 during the regular season. So what you're, you're seeing a lot of three-point shooting and a lot of good three-point shooting, a lot of good three-point shooting as well. You're, the favorites are five and two. I guess he, Oklahoma City was a one-point favorite, but but uh, there were some books that had Houston as a one-point favorite. But so that's kind of a wash. Favorites are five and two thus far. The over/under is four and three. The average score thus far is two hundred is over two hundred thirty points. That's the average final total. And as we've noted, teams continue to shoot well, especially from the three-point line. The overall shooting from the field is teams are hitting 46.8% from the field and over 203 pointers have been hit through seven games. Uh, the first game that we are going to re review for tomorrow is the Jazz Nuggets game. The Nuggets are four point favorites. The over under for this game is 217.5. If you go to the BetQL website, this is the free game that is available for you to view for tomorrow. And, and this series has been dominated in terms of wins and losses by the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets have defeated the Jazz in every game they've played thus far. Uh, Nikola Jokic, the Joker, has dominated possible defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert, in their matchup this season. Jokic has averaged 29.25 points, 11.5 rebounds, and 7.5 7 assists per game on 55.2% shooting. The Nuggets have won the minutes that the Joker has played by 22 points in the four games with Utah this season. The last, this even though Denver has won all four meetings, this has been an incredibly close series. Uh, the last two games have gone to overtime, including game one, and the one game they played against each other in the bubble, that game actually went to double overtime. So the differential at the end of regulation from all four games is nine points. That tells you how close uh, this series has been, notwithstanding Denver's dominance in the win column. Mike Conley Jr. left the bubble. Uh, he came back. He missed game one. He's expected to miss. He will be missed. He will miss game two. So it's possible they'll have... Conley back for game three, but that's another thing for you to factor in uh, to your decision, to your bet, to your to your decision making as to how you want to wager on this game. Uh, the, the Nuggets, if if you watch game one, the Nuggets have continued their scorching shooting from the bubble. They've led all teams that made the made the playoffs. They lead all playoff teams in terms of field goal percentage, and the Jazz are also one thing. One thing to one interesting note about the Jazz is that they, they are shooting more three-pointers in the bubble, notwithstanding the fact that Bog, they lost Bogdanovich before they came down to Orlando. The Utah is averaging almost three-point... Utah is averaging almost 42 three-point attempts per game, which would rank second in the bubble behind the Houston Rockets. The Jazz averaged 35 three-point attempts during the season. So... Utah has definitely increased the amount of threes they've taken, even though they arguably don't have the personnel 
to shoot as many threes as they are, especially with Bogdanovich's injury. The next game that we are going to review is the Nets Raptors game. Uh, the Raptors are 11 point favorites, and the over under in this game is 226.5. Uh, the, the Raptors lead the season se- lead the series one game to none after a convincing victory in game one. The Raptors offense may finally be picking up. Uh, the defending champions failed to score 110 points in their first five games in a bubble, but they've scored 110 and then some in their last four games, including 134 points in in the last game against Brooklyn. And Toronto's been consistent from the three-point line. They've averaged 14.4 three-point field goals during the bubble, bubble regular season, including a 22 of 44 from the three-point line in game one. Uh, they've hit over 40% of their three-pointers. Brooklyn's defense has has regressed. Uh, they've they ha- they ha- Their defense hasn't been very good against the winning teams they faced in Orlando. In the four games they've played against teams with a winning percentage of over 50%, Brooklyn's given up an average of 129.75 points. That's 129.75 points per game in the four games they've played in the bubble, including game one against teams with a winning record. In the five games they've played against against less successful teams, they've they've given up 114.8 points per game. So against teams with a winning percentage of under 50%, they've given up 114.8. So there's quite a huge disparity between how Brooklyn has defended against winning teams and how Brooklyn is defending against losing teams. And unfortunately for the Nets, they are facing a team that is clearly a winning team in the Raptors. So the quality of the opposition has been pretty mu- has pretty much defined how well the Nets are going to play defensively. You can get 20% off any BetQL subscription if you use the promo code of CHAN. That's spelled C-H-A-N. You can go to betql.co. Uh, the, that's the BetQL website. You can browse and you can see that there's a wealth of information that you can get to which you can gain access if you do subscribe. There are weekly plans available. There are yearly plans available. There are monthly plans available. You will get 20% off if you use the promo code CHAN. And there are a wide variety of sports coverage. It's not just basketball. Even though the big data show is focused on the NBA playoffs, the BetQL model also analyzes football games, the upcoming foot upcoming football season. It also analyzes baseball games as well as hockey contest. So you will gain access to a variety of sports by subscribing to BetQL. The next game that we will review is the 76ers and the Celtics. The Celtics are 4.5 point favorites, and the over-under in this game is 217.5. The Celtics came away with a game one victory against Philadelphia, but they did lose Gordon Hayward for at least the next four weeks. He's expected, he's reportedly expected to miss the next four weeks. It may, Hayward may not be as big a deal as as you would think in this series. He's, he hasn't been particularly effective against Philadelphia in the last three games that the Celtics played against the 76ers. He's, Hayward only scored a combined 24 points in the last three games. And he's only hit two three-pointers in the last three games. So Hayward's absence may not be particularly important. And I think that's reflected in the line. Uh, The Celtics were five-and-a-half-point favorites against, or six-point favorites against the 76ers in game one. And the line has not been materially lowered due to Hayward's injury. The 76ers are also dealing with their own injury problems. They'll, as you know, be without the services of Ben All-Star Ben Simmons for the remainder of the playoffs. And his absence was certainly felt as the Sixers turned the ball over 18 times in game one. One interesting trend to consider in this series is the Celtics have won four of the five first halves in the five games that they've played. So even though Philadelphia has won three of the five games, including game one this season against Boston. The Celtics have won four of the five first halves. 
The Celtics are plus 4.6 in the first half against the Sixers in the first halves that they've played this season. The Sixers have, the Sixers have, again, I've noted they've won three of five games, but the Celtics have largely controlled the first half in this series thus far. The first half is going to be around Celtics minus two, minus two and a half, maybe even minus three. If the, that may be the safest bet to make in this series, considering the Celtics, how how well the Celtics have controlled the Sixers uh, in the first 24 minutes of games thus far in their in their series. The last game tomorrow night is the Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers. The Los Angeles Clippers lead the season lead the lead the series one game to zero. Uh, the Clippers are 5.5 point favorites. The over under in this game is 230. Again, that's this is a series we talked about in the big data show from the other night. The Clippers have absolutely dominated this series. Uh, there's there's really uh, there's really not much more that can be said other than the Clippers are have absolutely have handled the game that they played. Uh, they continued their domination on Monday night. Uh, they're now 4-0 ATS against Dallas this season. The under has surprisingly been hit in three of the four games. The Mavericks have failed to score over 110 points in three to four contests. You wouldn't normally think of the Mavericks as an under team, but they've had a hell of a time scoring consistently against the Clippers this season. And it certainly didn't help that Kristaps Porzingis was ejected in the third quarter of last night's game. Yesterday's game was pretty insane from an over-under perspective. There was 135 points scored in the first half, and the total of 229.5. They still that it, it's it fails to the total did not exceed. The final total was not hit. So that was pretty surprising, and it continues a trend of the Mavericks being unable to score against the Clippers this season. And, and the, if you're looking for a total bet in this game, given that that the under has been hit hit in three to four games, you may want to look at a quarter bet for a total. In the last three games, the second between the Clippers and the Mavericks, the second quarter has been the quarter where scoring has consistently been high and where scoring has exploded. An average of 65.3 points has been scored in the second quarter in the last three games. So if you're looking for a total, but you're kind of hesitant because this game hasn't, uh, just hasn't, uh, this series, uh, the games between Mavericks and Clippers haven't met, met the expectations for scoring. You may want to look at the second quarter as that quarter seems to be, you may want to look at the second quarter as that quarter has been the one where these two teams have seemed to find their footing, at least offensively. So we have a, a very exciting quadruple header uh, set to tip off tomorrow. Uh, we have, and we have another quadruple header the following day on Thursday. The big data show will actually be at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. So we're, we will be broadcasting live on QLTV three hours earlier than usual. Uh, if you want to use the promo code CHAN, you can get 20% off any BetQL subscription. So certainly subscribe. Uh, you, you'll get access to a computer model that runs these games through simulations, oftentimes thousands and thousands of simulations. So you'll get data that shows you projected a projected score, a projected total, projected player points that you can use for DFS. You can use player props. You can use for total bets that you can use for spread bets. It'll also give you projected first half scores, projected first half totals. So you can get 20% off any bet kill subscription if you use the promo code CHAN. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time to join me this evening. Uh, if you do in the future, if for future shows, if you do want to chat with me, if you have a question, uh, you can certainly submit it through the chat. And I will get, I'll do a better job of getting to it for future big data shows. So tomorrow we will be broadcasting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, uh, I, I hope you stay safe and I hope you win your bets. But thank you for joining the big data show this evening and we will see you.